Now, Russell Crowe is enjoying one of the biggest uh, box office successes of his career. The actor's new superhero movie, Man of Steel, has made 400 million bucks worldwide just so far. Now, I sat down with him along with his hunky co-star, Henry Cavill, whose role as Superman has sent him on the fast track to fame. What's the S stand for? It's not an S. How about Super... Excuse me. It's the biggest, loudest, most expensive Superman movie ever. Man of Steel reinvents the superhero franchise once again and makes a star of British actor Henry Cavill in an iconic American role. Physically, this Superman is, is different. You know, the hairy chest, the, the unshaven look. I've always been a big fan of the Death of Superman comics, the sort of modern age, and... He always had a hairy chest, and I, I, I have a hairy chest, so I thought, why not? Go with that. There's a difference below the belt, too. Superman's signature red undies are gone. There was no point in having the undies on the outside. I mean, if kids saw undies on the outside now of a superhero character, they wouldn't understand it without their dad explaining that's just cool and that's the way it is. Mm. They'd think it looks silly. Uh, you do wear undies on the inside, though, for a suit like that. Yes. Man of Steel is a welcome payoff for Henry. He was passed up for Superman eight years ago when Brandon Routh scored the role and he was a contender to play James Bond, but that went to Daniel Craig. The road to fame has been a tough one. I understand that at school mm. you were bullied. You were quite badly bullied. You were known. Did, is it true that you had a nickname Fat Cavill? Uh, yes, Fat Cavill was my nickname, um, but it made a lot of sense because my name was Cavill and I was fat. And so That's terrible. kids were mean to me and they teased me, sure. Um, and it makes it tough when you're in boarding school because you don't go home every evening. But that's what kids do. And it's all part of growing up. You will guide them. You will give them hope. That's what this symbol means. Oh. Russell Crowe plays Superman's biological father in the film. It's a role that's made him a cool dad to his young sons, Charles and Tennyson. You say you did this movie for your boys. This is sort of the first movie, I guess, that they can actually go and see. The fact that I have a six and nine year old when I was you know, talking about making this movie, that definitely came into play, you know, because, you know, I mean, there's too many cap decapitations in Gladiator, there's, you know, prostitution scenes and blame is this, you know, I don't usually make movies. Um, the kids can go and see. Yes. Goodbye, my son. Our hopes and dreams travel with you. He'll be an outcast. I'll kill him. How? He'll be a god to them. I hear you were put on a specific diet by Warner Brothers for this. And might I say, you look fantastic in the suit, looking good. Um, tell us how hard this diet, tell us about the diet. My normal day on a day of prep for this would be um, like a bike ride in the morning, a huge weight session, followed by a bike ride, followed by a walk, followed by probably a swim, and then some other form of weight exercise or like a high level aerobic exercise at the end of the day. That was every single wow. day. Wow. And you're doing that on, a lot of the time was 2,400 calories, um, but then, you know, when it got tightened up to like 1,800 calories, so that's kind of difficult, that physical output and that, that small amount of fuel. But then you have to look at what the fuel is, you know. It was, it was basically a, a meal plan from go to woe and mm. you had these, you know, very small amount of selections you could have and, and that was all you could eat and that was a contractual obligation, you know. Lucky for us, Russell came bearing gifts for the whole Sunrise team, a CD of his new music. To Mel before she leaves. OK. Um, I should love that. Thank and, you, Russell. Um, that's for the newsreader lady. Nat. Nat she Nashley. will love that yeah, too. Right, at at um, the domain. She was a really nice lady. Yep. That's for Koshi. Okay. It might be a bit too deep for Koshi though, some of those okay. songs. Yeah. Oh, look, the okay. girls might have to explain some of the <laughs> finer emotional points. Has it got the lyrics yeah. in here? As yeah, long as he can read along. Yeah, so okay. it'll be good. Perfect. And uh, Mark. Yeah, Brett's. Yep, yeah, cool. And, um, Are you sure you've got else? enough? I know. Oh, you. me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Russell. That's very cool. kind. It's not often you come to interview a celebrity and go away with a present like this. Oh, no, we do it all the time. Love it. Yeah, you should have been here yesterday. We were giving away cars. <laughs> <laughs> He's Rusty. like, oh, 
Opera. So there you go. There's your, oh, your oh, seat, so too. Oh, you remember. can have barrettes and Apparently there's Camille. He remembered me when I met him at the domain and gushed all over him because I think Inside is one of the greatest movies. Um, a, a Carol. <laughs> yes. I did remember you. I know. Didn't, he is the best actor we've of, ever produced. He's, he's a good man. I like and him. And he's got really his own right. skin now, too. Isn't he? You know, I mean, Australians have had a kind of a relationship with him over the years, but he's, he's a really cool guy. You were flirting more with him than I, yeah. Henry, I thought. Well, well Henry you know, wasn't returning any Henry of the Henry was not on, so. hitting any Didn't of the tennis balls anything. back, so... No, well, you asked him about his undies. Well, so he, was just, he was just serious. He was a very right. serious Ernest. young actor, yes. Mm. And Rusty, Rusty is good fun. It's a good know? lesson for you oh, yesterday, thank you. because you were... You know, dissing Russell as being a bit old and really looking forward to him. It no, just shows good looks. Doesn't, yeah, doesn't, so doesn't count more for personality. I think that's a bit nothing. harsh on Sam. Yeah, I didn't say he was too old yesterday. I just I said, said he, he plays the father. father. I don't okay. think she said that at all. All right. Soon on, the, <laughs> soon on the sunrise. Oh, can I just say, Rusty watches yeah. sunrise, so good morning, Russell, if you're watching. And thank you very much. And thank you. Inside it. I'll concentrate when I read.